Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through my color grading workflow, showing you how to create cinematic visuals that are perfectly balanced and visually striking. We'll focus on achieving natural skin tones, which are key to maintaining realism. And also I'll dive into some split toning techniques to give your footage that extra depth and style. Whether you are new to color grading or looking to refine your skills, I think you'll find some helpful tips here. So let's jump right in. First, let me show you my project settings in case uh, you are new to the channel. I'm using WNGY RGB as my color science uh, because I work with a CSD workflow. Here you can also see my timeline color space and output color space. Now, the first step is to add our input and output color space transforms. Since we are working with RE footage, we'll transform from RE log 3 to DaVinci Intermediate to give us the maximum working space. Then we'll convert from DaVinci Intermediate to Reg 709 Gamma 2.4 for the output. We'll also apply DaVinci Tone Mapping, setting the maximum brightness to 10,000 nits. Before we balance the image, uh, let's start with a slight contrast adjustment. As many of you may know, I prefer not to use the contrast knob in DaVinci Resolve. Instead, I use the gain wheel to control contrast and the offset wheel as my pivot for more precise adjustments to both highlights and shadows. Now, uh, let's add a note before this one and balance our image. As you can see, the image appears quite warm, uh, which actually could work given that she's being hit by sunlight from the side. Uh, however, I prefer a more neutral balance, so I'll cool it down slightly using the HDR offset wheel. This adjustment will not only give us more natural skin tones, but also set a solid foundation for split toning later in the grade. Now, let's toggle it on and off to see the difference. I think this is a good starting point. Next, I'll add another note to adjust the temperature. Uh, this will slightly bring back the warm sunlight we dialed down in the previous note, while also maintaining the natural balance we've achieved there. Now for a more cinematic look, I want to enhance the density of the primary color, uh, red, in the scene. To do this, I'll add a parallel note and then we will use the color slice tool to make the adjustment. Okay, let's see the difference. I think this is looking much better now. Next, I'll add two more parallel notes to apply Dehancer Pro uh, for the look. As usual, we'll set the color space to DaVinci Intermediate and disable all the default settings. Then switch to high quality mode. Here, in this first note, I'll add the Kodak 2383 film look LUT. I love this look, but it's definitely too strong for this scene, so let's go ahead and lower its strength. Right about here. Now, let's see the difference. Good, subtle, but effective. In the second Dehancer note, we'll make further adjustments. First, let's again disable the default settings, and then I'll add some halation and bloom effects. I prefer using custom settings for these, but I'll lower their strength to keep the effect more subtle. Next, I'll adjust the color head settings. Here, I think we might also tweak the tint and temperature to further refine the look. Again, my goal here is to achieve and maintain that natural balance. Alright, let's check the difference. I'm loving how this is turning out. In the final step, I want to enhance the split toning a bit more. To do this, I'll use the primary wheels. Here, while cooling down the shadows, I'm simultaneously warming up the highlights to create a balanced cinematic look with enhanced uh, split toning. Now, let's see the difference. Awesome. And before I finish, I think we can also add a vignette to have the talent pop more. For that, I will use the Dehancer Pro. 
Here let's go with the default settings. Again, let's toggle on and off. Perfect. And there it is. I hope you enjoyed watching this breakdown of my color grading workflow. If you found this helpful, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. I always appreciate your support and please feel free to hit the bell icon to stay updated on all future uploads. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.